that's all it will take. And we want to make sure that the silicoids aren't doing anything weird, researching any crazy technologies. Like if they get titanium armor, that might be bad. But so far, we're not seeing anything too weird from them. They have fusion beam. It's not really a threat to us. You will see. You will see. So, obviously 30 turns is too long, so we are going to put everybody that we have in production. No research at all. Uh, let's see. Is that smart? No, that's not smart at all. We want to make sure that we get Mass Driver in time. So, deciding on the right balance is key here. We're going to be trying to buy stuff when we can. And see, this is why this early game is so awkward. So awkward. In fact, I wonder if it's worth going for Fusion Beam just to save on a bit of research. Tell you what, let's... Okay, let's try that. Hey there, humans. <laughs> Peaceful coexistence. That's a good one. That's funny. So it's it's barely even worth it to look around, although I guess we want to know if there's space monsters nearby, because we do want to kill those. If so. Wormholes are interesting to us. We're going to want to make a lot of movement around the galaxy compared to... Certainly compared to last game, where we tried to keep really compact. But, oh, I have too much food. Alright, this game is going to be much more about being very dynamic. Uh, n w yeah, we hate nebulas. Nebulas are going to make things hard for us, so... Keeping in mind that we hate nebulas. Oh my god, that is a good leader. Androgyna. <laughs> um, keeping in mind that we hit nebulas, we might want to take out the humans next, just to get them out of the way. Okay, install that leader. Man, that was a good leader. Oh, I missed the chance to buy this. You want to buy stuff towards the end of the cycle. It's the best use of your money. And let's see. Let's see how we're doing. Eight turns to mass driver. 12 and 12. We want Mass Driver to finish basically the instant we get to Chrysalon. Okay. Should be about right. As soon as we scout this world, we are going to delete our scout. Um, that's to save money. Oh, hey, 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 look at that. We can buy our next ship now. Um, and then maybe Mass Driver will be late, which will be annoying, but oh well. Oh well, yeah, I am going to delete the scout. Uh, just so we don't run over our command points. Now, how long to Chrysalon? And hopefully we will have Mass Driver when we get there. So, Chris, yeah, Chrysalon is important to take out because we need to make sure just that we get the star base, and they might not have star bases in their other colonies um, quite yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we need to wait for Mass Driver. Okay, we got the breakthrough. The question is, will it take place in this battle or not? Uh, so when I don't know the answer to questions, I tend to just do the thing which will give me the most information. So I don't actually know if we're going to have Mass Driver in this battle, but... Uh, there's only one way to find out, really. So, we're going to move forward and launch our fighters at the starbase. Are some nuclear missiles? Nothing. Nothing too serious. Oh yeah, we've got Mass Driver, and look at that. Look at how easily that was taken out. Uh... 
Whoops. Okay, this ship is going to retreat because it's about to take a missile hit. I'm not really sure how happy it's going to be about that missile hit. And yeah. Okay, and he's out of there. So guess what? We've got the home world of uh, the silicoids now. And um, on that note, I think we're going to turn to research labs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure it will. Sure it will. See, look at this. Look how wonderful these citizens are. They're just so happy to do whatever we want. And what do we want? What do we want? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a spy, actually. Yeah, and here's where transdimensional really helps. We really don't have to worry about counterattacks. As a matter of fact, we are going to get to their planet before they do. Okay. Bam. Mind control. And there it is. And this is great. We have a silicoid housing colony. So that is going to provide... Plenty of silicoid citizens for our empire. As a matter of fact, we might even consider getting rid of our own race on Draconis. I wonder, can you totally exterminate your own race? Because the silicoids are strictly superior to our race in every way. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna consider that actually. <laughs> Man. That would make me a bastard, wouldn't it? Okay, so the problem here is that this destroyer is going to bomb and possibly take out that world. So I'm just gonna wait for it um, and then take it on. Hey there, oops, no, don't attack my own colony. Uh, it's gonna run away. Unless the fighters get there first, nope. Transdimensional fighters are pretty friggin' fast, but evidently not quite fast enough. Now, yeah, once again, we're gonna beat the destroyer back and the destroyer is going to arrive to find that his whole civilization doesn't exist anymore. At least not in the form that he knows it. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> and in a moment, I guess we'll kill off uh, these characters have them build trade goods until then <laughs> oh this is pretty silly pretty silly okay jabo it's another destroyer it's gonna try to run these guys just won't even bother fighting. Oh, interesting. Uh, these are not silicoids. Who are these? These are some, these are the Sacra. Great, we got laser rifle. Okay, the silicoids don't exist anymore, but I assume we're gonna meet the Sacra now because I guess the silicoids captured that world from the Sacra. Electronic computer and research lab is next. Okay, well this, this world is Kind of nice. Not sure which RPG. Yeah, there's the Sakura. So right, uh, housing colony. Hmm. So swinging around to take out the humans would be uh, nice. Because that would, that would mean we could stop worrying about this nebula. And the question is... Okay. So the Sakura do have fuel cells that enable them to attack us. Oh, wow. The humans have reinforced hull and heavy armor. Of course, that means they don't have automated factories. But... 
That does make it very unlikely we're going to um, blitz them really fast. And Dauntless Guiding Systems. <gasps> okay, so we don't want to take on the humans just now. Although maybe, maybe we'll churn out a couple more cruisers and do that. I think we're fine going after the Sakura, though. I don't think the Sakura have anything we should be scared of. Nope. Not a thing. Uh, let's check out the race statistics. The humans are good researchers. Um, of course, they still might not be as good as the uh, silicoids who don't even have to eat. And the Sakura um, are good farmers. So if we decide not to kill off everyone who's not silicoid, then might like them. Oh, and they're subterranean, so we can fit a ton of them uh, everywhere. Wait, that's weird. Weren't the colonists... I swore the colon they looked sac... Oh, anyway, I don't... I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> so there's a Sacra fleet heading home, but once again, we are going to get home before they do. Yeah, after this by Crystalline 3, she built a star base. Okay, and Ivelda. Ivelda is about to meet its doom. Mind control. There we are. It's ours now. What do you mean assault? We just telepathed them. They just, they suddenly decided to be our planet. It was their own free will in some sense. Uh, similar story here as before. I think I'm... I don't know. It would be kind of fun to just kill off everybody who's not a silicoid. Like, these humans, like, just kill them. Bam. Okay. And we're going to have a little confrontation here. Not really much of one. Mind control. Oh, I should probably stop building trade goods here. Build housing. And yeah, trade goods, trade goods. Uh, this next place will send more silicoids there. Silicoids everywhere. so much fun beating races to like when they try to run to defend their home planet like beating them to it is there anything surprising here nope and there goes the sacra star base mind control oh hey we got fusion beam for free bye bye sakura bye bye Oh my god, that is so many Sakura. Yeah, I don't... It's... It seems a shame to exterminate this planet now. So we won't. Um, we will keep them... Keep them running. Anything special about this world? It is high gravity. Um, and these fellows don't get a penalty for that. Interesting building.